everyone, today I'm doing a Clara Oswald from Doctor Who inspired makeup tutorial because I get a lot of requests to do her makeup and I'm a massive Doctor Who nerd so I fancy doing it so let's get started. Her foundation is always very glowy, very dewy so I'm going to use my Revlon Photo Ready in the shade uh, Golden Beige. Okay, now once my foundation's on, I need some eyebrows. Now Clara has beautiful eyebrows. She has nice, like, confident eyebrows. So I'm going to use two colours from my HD Brow Palette. I'm going to use Ash Blonde and Dark Brown here. First I use the Ash Blonde colour and I just map out the shape. And her eyebrows come quite far in, which is how I like to do mine and I just brush up and then I take the darker colour and add individual hairs and some more definition. So I will show you that now. take a brow gel, this one is the Rimmel Brow This Way gel in medium brown and I'm going to just brush this through my eyebrows. Okay, once your eyebrows are on you can move on to your eyes. I'm starting with my Sleek O Natural palette and I'm going to mix these two colours together. I'm going to take Nougat from the same palette and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with that. Now I'm going to go back to my brow palette and I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades here. So the two shades that I used on my eyebrows, I'm now going to use into my crease really really softly I'm now going to do a really really fine line of gel eyeliner this one is from uh, Maybelline and I'm just going to line my top lash line and do the tiniest, teeniest, teeniest little wing. but that's because I'm going to go in with this colour here and go on top of that line and just smudge it out a little bit so it's a bit softer. top lash line done really really simple and now I'm going to line my waterline with a cream eyeliner this one's the MAC one the chromographic liner pencil at NC20 to NW25 I'm just going to pop this on my waterline I'm then taking my bourgeois shadow and light colon contour liner I'm taking the dark brown side I'm going to put a little bit of this just underneath my eyes she has really big lovely eyes and this just makes them look a little bit rounder. I'm just going to blend out the bottom of my finger. I'm then just taking the shade Taupe, I think it's called Taupe, it doesn't say, from my Au Naturel palette. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in my inner corner as a highlight. And then I'm going to put 
on some mascara, I'm using my classic L'Oreal Miss False Slash, what is it? False Slash Flutter in Midnight Blacks. I'm just going to put two coats of this on because she has quite like big open eyes so you want to get your lashes as big as possible. Okay, so that's the mascara on. I'm now going to finish the rest of my face. So I'm going to start by highlighting under my eyes and I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime um, Light Booster and this is, or Light Boost is the shade, it's the yellow one. <laughs> gonna put a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer right under my eyes and around my nose. I'm now just gonna set the centre of my face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC25. put a little bit of bronzer down the backs of my cheekbones. I'm going to use my classic NARS Casino bronzer just down the backs of the cheeks. Now she wears quite a bright kind of pinkish vibrant very shimmery blush so I'm going to use pomegranate from Sleek. really shimmery cheeks so over the top I'm going to apply my MAC mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle and just pop this on the tops of my cheekbones she doesn't really go all that crazy for her lips so I'm just going to use a baby lips lip balm in the shade cherry me because she wears like a light berry shade finished Clara Oswald makeup tutorial. I think it's a really nice everyday kind of makeup. She doesn't go too overboard, nothing too crazy, just lots of blush and rosy lips and soft eyes. And I really like it and I hope you like it too. If you did like the video then make sure you let me know in a comment down below or give the video a thumbs up. And um, all of my social media sites are linked down below. Oh, I'm dropping things. All of my social media links are down below to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook page and my email address. So if you need to contact me, then that's where you should go. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!